Hello everyone and welcome to Jehu Crochet in More. In today's tutorial I'll show you how to make this beautiful scarf. It is the 3D diamond stitch scarf. It has beautiful diamonds that pop out and make this unique texture. This scarf is my entry for the 2020 Ice Yarn Challenge hosted by Glenda from Creative Grandma and Krista from The Secret Yarnery. I made this scarf using one pack of ice yarns and I will explain everything about the materials in just a second. So join me as I show you how to make this beautiful scarf my entry for the 2020 Ice Yarn Challenge. For this tutorial I'm using Ice Yarns Fireworks. It is a lightweight 3 yarn available on the Ice Yarn website but you can use any lightweight 3 yarn that you want. This one is 40% wool and 60% acrylic and I am using a 6 millimeter crochet hook with it. So get your materials together and let's begin. We begin with a slip knot on our hook and this pattern is a multiple of 10 plus 3. So you can chain 13, you can chain 23, 33, 43 and so on. The amount you chain will determine how wide your scarf will be. So I'm going to chain 33. Once you have your chain together, we're going to begin by putting one single crochet into the second chain from the hook. The one that's on your hook never counts. And this is one and that's the second one. Now you can work into the chains, but I like to work into the back loops of the chains. The reason I do that is because I think it gives my scarf a more finished look. And if in the end I decide to make it an infinity scarf, then it is easier this way to sew both ends of the scarves together. But you should work in whichever manner is the best for you. We begin with one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And we're going to continue and put one single crochet into each of the chains throughout the first row. So just continue putting one single crochet into each chain until you get to the end of the row. I'm at the end of my first row and I'm going to put my last single crochet into the very last stitch. And at the end of the row, your first row should look like this, just a row of single crochet. To begin row two, we chain three and turn our work. This first chain three will count as our first double crochet and it counts as our first double crochet for the remaining of our scarf. We're going to put one double crochet into the next stitch and this is where it gets tricky. So now we're going to work triple crochet. So you yarn over two times then we're going to skip two stitches one two and into the third stitch we're going to work a triple crochet so go into that stitch pick up a loop yarn over and go through two loops yarn over go through two loops and yarn over and go through the remaining two loops on your hook we're going to do that again yarn over twice Go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through two loops, yarn over and go through two loops, and yarn over and go through the remaining two loops on your hook, like that. Now we're going to yarn over twice again, and go back and work these two stitches, but we're going to work them from the back. So we're going to go behind the two stitches we just made and into the first stitch that we skipped, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through two loops, 
yarn over and go through two loops, yarn over and go through two loops. And we're going to do that again. So this is the way your scarf looks like now. This is the front. We're going to yarn over it twice and go behind. Find that remaining skipped stitch. Go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops on your hook. So the first two stitches we made go in the front and the second st set of stitches go in the back. And now we're going to do something similar but the other way around. So we're yarning over twice, skip two stitches and into the third stitch work a triple crochet just as we did before. Do that again, yarn over twice, go into the next stitch and do a triple crochet. And now we're going to yarn over twice and go back and work those two stitches but this time we're going from the front. So before we worked in the back and now we're going in the front. Into the first stitch we skipped, yarn over, pull up a loop, go through two loops, yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, go through two loops and again yarn over twice, go from the front into the second skipped stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, go through two loops and yarn over and go through two loops. And now we have two of those crisscrosses and each of them is going a different direction. Now we're going to put one double crochet into the next stitch and one more double crochet into the next stitch. So we have two double crochets. And we're going to repeat this again. So I will do it with you one more time. Yarn over twice, skip two stitches, Go into the next stitch and do a, trip, a triple crochet. Yarn over twice, go into the next stitch and make another triple crochet. The next two triple crochets are going to be from the back. So yarn over twice, go from the back of the work into the first skipped stitch and do a treble crochet. Yarn over twice, go into the next skip stitch and do a triple crochet. So once again the first two were in the front and the second two were in the back. And now we're going to do it again the other way around. So yarn over twice, skip two stitches, make one triple crochet into the next stitch and another triple crochet into the next stitch. And the next two triple crochets are going to be from the front. So yarn over twice and go into the skipped stitch from the front. Make a triple crochet yarn over twice, go into the second skipped stitch and make another triple crochet. And now we're going to put one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. So yarn over, make one double crochet and a second double crochet into the next stitch. And this is our repeat and we're going to do that for the entire row. So go ahead and continue working this way until you get to the end of the row. Your last two stitches of the row should be one double crochet in each one of the stitches. So do that for the rest of the row and I will meet you there. 
So I'm at the end of my row and my last two stitches are one double crochet into each one of the remaining stitches. And if you can find your very last stitch in the row, it should be this one that looks like a chain one from the previous row. And this is what our scarf looks like so far. This is the first row of crisscross. Now we're going to chain three and turn, and that chain three counts as a double crochet. And we're going to put one double crochet into the next stitch, which is a double crochet from the previous round. And now we're going to do our crisscross pattern again. And we're going to do it in exactly the same way that we did in the row before. So we're going to yarn over twice, skip two stitches, make one triple crochet into the third stitch, and another triple crochet into the next stitch. And now we're going to yarn over twice, and go to those two skipped stitches from the back and work one triple crochet into each of them. So one, and two. Yarn over twice, go into that stitch from the back, and do a triple crochet. Once again, the last two stitches are behind the first two stitches. Now we're going to yarn over twice, skip two stitches, and make two triple crochets into the next two stitches. One, and two. And this time, just as we did the row before, the next two triple crochets are going to come in the front. So yarn over twice and go back to that first skip stitch and do a triple crochet. And again, yarn over twice, go into the second skip stitch and do a triple crochet. The next two stitches are two double crochet. One double crochet into the first stitch and one double crochet into the second stitch. And now we're gonna do our crisscross pattern again. Yarn over twice, skip two stitches and make two triple crochets the next two are going to come in the back. One, two, from the back into the stitch, one triple crochet, yarn over twice, find the second stitch. We are going behind the first two. That's the first set of crisscross and the second set is the other way around. So yarn over twice, skip two stitches, make two triple crochets, one and one into the next stitch. And then go back and work these two from the front this time. Yarn over twice, from the front, one triple crochet, yarn over twice, and work the second one the same way. So that was another repetition of our crisscross. This one was front back, and this one was back front into the next two stitches we put one 
double crochet in each stitch. And we're going to continue repeating this pattern to the end of the row. So this is our 10 stitch repetition. Each repetition consists of those crisscrosses and then two double crochets. In the beginning of each row we put two double crochet to begin with and then we do our 10 stitch repetition. Crisscross, crisscross, two double crochet, crisscross, crisscross, two double crochet and so on. So that just continue working this way repeating this row again and again and again until your scarf is the length that you want it to be. And once your scarf is long enough then come back and I will show you how to finish it off. When you get to the point that your scarf is the length that you want it to be then it's time to finish it off. In order to finish off we're going to do one more row of single crochet. So we're going to chain one and turn this time the chain one does not count as a stitch and we're going to put one single crochet into each one of the stitches. So just go back into that same stitch and do one single crochet and then do one single crochet into every stitch all the way along until you have put one single crochet into each one of your stitches and got to the end of your row. And I will meet you at the end of the row to finish the scarf together. When you get to the end of the row don't forget to put a single crochet into that very last stitch that is our turning chain from the previous row. And once you've done that and you have one single crochet into each one of your stitches then we are ready to cut the yarn and fasten off. Once you cut your yarn and fastened off your scarf is pretty much done. You can now sew both ends together to make it into an infinity scarf which is what I'm going to do or you can leave it this way and add tassels or fringe or just leave it plain. It is your choice. The scarf has this beautiful 3D diamond pattern and if you hold your work like this then you will see that the diamonds are actually popping out and it has this very nice texture to it and this is created by us always skipping the two stitches and working in front of them or working them behind the previous stitches and that's what created this beautiful 3D diamond that pops up and also it gives the scarf its beautiful texture. If you make this in a plain color then your diamonds will pop up more than mine because my yarn has different shades to it then from afar it's a little bit hard to see the, the texture and the pattern in the yarn but when you look up closely then you really get this beautiful effect. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section what you thought. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel then please subscribe and you will receive notifications whenever I upload a new video. I have many more tutorials on my channel and I invite you all to go back to the channel and see the videos that are already up there and of course stay tuned for future videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!